Hi, Kristen. She's always Jan when I hear it. Hi. Oh, hi, uh, Linda. Me. Hi, Linda Lynn. What's going on, Linda? What's up, Miss Chrissy and happy, everyone out there? Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Thank you for joining us in on this um, kind of semi-rainy nights. Joining us on Could Be You TV. So we have a lot to talk about, don't we? Yes, we do. We had a really great weekend here. It was really, um, I have to say, interesting and exciting weekend. <laughs> it's so exciting that we don't even know how to start the show. <laughs> hey, I mean, <laughs> wait I'm a second. Leaving it up to you to, to All right. start it off. Can well, we no. please get a a, a close we up? We have a new prop. Yes. Because every week Linda has to bring something from home. Yes. This is um, <laughs> well because we're trying to get into the um, Christmas spirit. Christmas spirit. And yes. I don't feel like hauling around in, in the little Christmas tree because my daughter would kill me if I if I heard it or something. The balls keep falling off the tree. Yes. <laughs> so we're just gonna she keep. Don't like we're gonna keep Santa in right there. Yes. Maybe we'll get like something for over here. Maybe like a reindeer. I do. We need to dress this up a little Maybe bit. A sleigh, Anybody you know. would you know want to contribute or help out a sponsor or something here for the Could Be You TV? Just hit me up. You know where to find me. Yeah, we definitely you know we're we're we've been doing the show a few months now. I mean, we've had a few people be interested in you know working with the show and sponsoring, but you know we definitely want to get um, somebody who you know, has a good product that is going to support us as much as we're going to support them back. I mean, it's obviously um, something that we're interested in doing. So anybody want, interested in sponsoring or going over sponsoring or being on the show, if you're a business or an artist, um, contact yeah, Linda here. And, um, yeah, we'll make it happen. Well, and I, I, I want to be right here. Could be you. Could be you and your Could be me. Brain. Could be you. <laughs> could but be I want to say, um, well, thank you so much for, uh, for Bobby and Jason for that nice display that we have going on here behind us. Um, gives it a nice uh, little look. Paradise Studios together with Could Be You TV. What better than that? Holla. What up? Paradise. So let's talk about what went on this weekend, girl. Yes, it was a lot of fun. So we did um, a show. We did the ECF fight in Queens, Woodside at Laboom Saturday. Um, it was a very long day. It was a lot of fun. We uh, had some technical difficulties, but you know, like always, like anything. That's just how it rolls. I mean, we're real. We're real women. We're in a real world, and um, real fucking problems happen. So, um, and starting from when in the car. Oh my God! So, <laughs> by the way, I'm really good at being a backseat driver. Because oh my God! People come, yell at me all the time that I always am like, do this and do that, and please stop. So. This was the one time I think I wasn't paying attention. I was actually allowing the people in the front to navigate and get us to where we needed to go. It's just very tricky to get through where tricky. we need to go. It's very tricky. And if you miss that one exit. Um, oh, my God. You're in Manhattan. That's it. So and go you're in gridlock. So, yeah. It's so, basically, that's what happened. We literally, for one second, was not paying attention to the exit we had to get off at. And we missed it, and it was the last exit before the bridge. The bridge. <laughs> and we were like, "Oh, you okay, know. we'll just go over she, it, and yeah, we'll just yeah, like turn, turn around, around and yeah. come back." And yeah, but okay, sure enough. If you know the city, you could be on one street, but because there's a bridge or another street or a highway over or under you, or even right next to you, the GPS will tell you make a left here. You can't even make a left. It says 100 feet, make a left. You're on a then highway. Then there's a You're street a that only one car is coming this way and you think you can go with. It's like, there's a one way. No, it's a two way. Oh, it's I'm horrible. not going through a Oh, my goodness. It was horrible. So, yeah, so we wound up like going at like a half an hour detour out of the way. We had just a little because nice. We missed uh, the one. The one. And we're, we're all like, go go left, go right. And Linda's like, oh my God, just get me there. I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> we had like three different GPS. I was GPS. like, all right, let me take over now. We had like three GPSs going on at the same time. But I have to say, it's really. It's pretty funny that um, I've I've lived cross country before, and I moved actually back and forth from this. I, I lived in Arizona for a brief time. When I first drove out there, um, cross country, I moved there. My dad drove. I came back the second time. Then the third time, I went back out there. I drove by myself. My an ex boyfriend had come and met me here in New York. So he was from California. Had no idea how to get out of New York. Right. But we drove cross country to get to Arizona because I was moving there with him. And turns out the whole entire trip I did not get lost except for getting out of the city. And I'm from here. Do you know how stupid I look? He was like, You live here and you get I was like, Do you know how often I drive it out made of New him York? Nervous. 
Well, I mean, he should be nervous. <laughs> If he got pulled over, he'd be arrested. <laughs> no, but he basically had no help. He could not help me at all, so I was paying attention to the GPS, and it was the, it was the only time in the whole entire trip in three days driving to the West Coast that I got lost. So, I mean... Well, if anybody knows, I hate driving. the best of us. And I only drive because I have to drive, and I can't even be a passenger because I have motion sickness. I get car sick immediately. Like, I always have to drive, so I just, you know... I'm I have to be in control. I'm too. Yeah, but um, but nevertheless, we got there in one piece. We did, and um, and I have to say, it was it was pretty amazing to to just watch from the uh, from the get go how the setup was um, being assembled and uh, you know even though oh yeah they built the cage from the ground up so yeah so we, we got, got to, to yeah we got to see that we got to see that and we just got it was fun just trying to you know and meet um, everybody when we first got everybody there. running around losing their their heads mm -hmm. and you know what to do and what but you know what it, it was oh my god. I, I was just warned, stop fussing with your mic, and that's what I'm doing. You know what it is? I'm kind of hot right now. So take I need off. to take this off. Take it off. Take it off. It's take it off. Take it off. Anybody see my shirt? Savage babe. Yes. And you're, you know what's cute? Your hair matches your shirt right yeah, now. It does. You know what? It wasn't intentional. It wasn't intentional. I don't mean to match my hair with my clothes, but uh, <laughs> it just turned out that way. So let me take my fur thingamajig here off. So yeah. There Basically, we yeah, we got to the so we got to the show. Instantly, we were looking to eat something because we were like, we're gonna be here for a while. We none of none of us really ate. Um, the bar wasn't open yet, so we couldn't even get a drink. So we were like, all right. So we ordered from this really delicious um, Dominican spot near nearby. Yeah, and, Spanish um, spot. That was just right on the corner, but meanwhile, it took like an hour to <laughs> get there. Like we could have just walked. We were like, all right. All these people were walking in. We're like the only chicks. We're pretty much a couple of the only group of like done up hair and makeup just to the nine girls in the place and we're stuffing our face like with uh <laughs> oh yeah wait 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 the good thing the funny thing about it is that you ha you know you you're you're in a place where um there's a lot of fighters and obviously the fighters do a lot of go through a lot of training and you know the probably eating, fasting fasting you know healthy <laughs> oh, eating and then, and then, then the tables the set up oh, with the, the girls in the corner and, yeah, the, yeah. and right Total in front nutrition. of us nutri new, you know <laughs> nutritional stuff and here we are on this table like Gobble. savage babes <laughs> like just eating like this uh, arroz con no, and, and steak and you know Whatever. and we were just were like jealous. I'm like where's the gum my goodness we have like garlic bread here we're supposed to be interviewing <laughs> people and we're just like okay gum hi how are you welcome to community. <laughs> you're like how are you <laughs> how are you no but it was amazing and of course we have to uh, give a special shout out to uh, Christian which we you know is uh, our guest tonight and you know Oh, he will be coming on in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he's gonna definitely put his input on the whole show together because obviously yeah. he, you know, he put it together and and of course, and we're so gracious, you know, to have given us this opportunity to actually have could be you TV on location, which is um, it was very interesting and it was you know, it was a lot of fun. It was fun I actually and, had yeah, a lot of fun because I feel like we right away like we pick like we knew what we were doing and we were able to conduct interviews. And, ask and we're not even like, or let's say we're not like pros where we, this no. is what, but it just comes so naturally that I feel like, um, you know, I, we don't have anything scripted and we don't have anything. I feel like we just go with the flow and whatever just comes out. We are who we are. I am who I am. And I'm going to say what I'm going to say, however it comes out, whether it's good or bad, you know, because that's just the way. Or sometimes when I get, you know, teased and, oh, my goodness, and you're saying that, and, oh, my God. And But I, I'm sorry. That's just the way I am. And that's what just comes out. And that's just who makes me. And you know what's so funny, which was great about having Could Be UTV on location, was that... Um, a couple of people actually recognized and knew the show, you know, and to say, oh, yeah, I seen Kupi UTV on, um, um, you know, streaming, or I've heard about it, or I've seen, you know, someone share it, or, you know, it's a great feeling. And even today, which was amazing, I'm actually um, shopping at the outlets, and I get stopped, and, I, and if she's watching, shout out to you. Um, she stops me and she says, um, Linda, and I'm like, hi, she's like, remember me? And I'm like, hi, how are you? She's like, oh my God, I follow you and I follow your show, it's so good. And, you know, and it's just a great feeling because um, I, at least I know it's getting across. The mm -hmm. show is actually um, picking up momentum. Yeah, it's building. You know, it's, as you know, it's very new because, this is, you know, we only started this not too long ago. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, like, you know, the concept that we just had. And, and so 
it's really honestly a great feeling to 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 have people actually recognize it. And in my mind, I'm like, oh my God, this is only the beginning. Oh my God, I can't wait. Oh my God, oh my, oh so my God. And I'm so, oh so I'm goodness. so grateful and so gracious for everyone who, um, and the day two, remember when we were walking up when I had, uh, um, the ladies also like stopped. Like in the middle of freaking <laughs> Queens walking to the Laboom and, and these people, Linda, oh my God, Linda! <laughs> Shout out I'm to like, them as you well. Go, girl. Shout, you know what? But that's the whole purpose of getting across, whether it's me as Linda Lynn or could be UTV or Miss Christy or whoever, you know, uh, Noelle Karina, we have to give her a, a big shout out too because without her, uh, my goodness, she was like one of the biggest part of the whole entire filming she did an amazing she was a job huge asset to she and, oh, TV that she day, was yeah. she amazing. So she, mama i love you that's Shout my to, that's my special Noel. chica right there and also reem reem was there to help us out and reem absolutely reem, of course, our she, girls oh that must be that must be you yeah could it be must you. be could be you <laughs> i'm breaking things but um, anyway so um so without further ado, let's just get into the video and uh, so they can see um, a little bit of behind the scenes. Yeah, put a little bit of together so they can see what's going on and uh, then we're going to bring our guests down. And so. the champ. Oh, we yeah. Got the champ in the definitely. Building. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Really? Hi, Christian. How are you? Thank you for letting Could Be You TV here on location. How are we feeling today? I'm feeling amazing. Uh, this is going to be an action-packed epic event. Welcome to ECF 19 Holiday Havoc 4. We're going to have an outstanding fight card. I mean, when you have a drop-dead gorgeous woman like this interviewing you, wow. you have to expect that the rest of the show is going to be amazing. Well, thank you so much for that, Christian. Well, thank you so much for looking as fucking gorgeous as you do <laughs> and being here. Oh, what, what was that? Oh. I want to see the side. Oh. Oh, please, show us. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh. Represent. You already know. Yeah, so. Get ready. ECF is in the house. Could be UTV is in the house. Linda Lynn is in the house. One of my good friends. Love this girl. And we will be doing the post-show interview. Absolutely. On your show, hopefully this Tuesday. Absolutely. So everybody has to tune in. And let's rock and roll. Get ready. All right. It's going to be a knockout. You already know. Hey, guys. We're here backstage at the ECF with Kevin Reed. He's one of our commentators, also one of our up-and-coming announcers. Kevin, how do you feel? How's the show going so far? I'm so pumped for tonight. We have 15 action-packed fights. And my favorite, a grudge match between Jason Markland and marvelous Roberto Munoz. This it's intense? Yes. Very exciting. So uh, amongst the 15 fighters that we have, who's your favorite? Who are you looking forward to seeing the most? Our main event is a 170-pound title fight between Bilal Ali Abdusalam and our reigning champion, Lenny Rufati. These guys have a little bit of bad blood. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. So we're gonna. We are. We could be UTV, and we are here with the main event. This is what everybody's coming for, Lenny. So Lenny, tell me. I know this must be very exciting. It must be very nerve-wracking. Here you are having to defend your title. Tell me how that feels, and what do you think is gonna come about? Well, I'm happy to be here in New York. Uh, I was born in this area. Happy to come back home, and uh, I've been doing really well. My coaches have guided me every step of the way. I feel pumped, I feel confident, I feel like I'm going to be and still tonight. Absolutely, but well, we're all here rooting for you, so you better go in there and kill it, all right? And we wish you all the luck, and we'll see you again at Could Be UTV. Okay, so we are here, oh my God, exciting, Amanda Serrano. If you don't know already, you better get to me. You are absolutely amazing, stunning, thundering. Out of the ring. Congratulations on everything you have done, the title you have won. Tell me how, and of course, I have to say, I get the fire boy in the house. <laughs> you know how proud I am that I'm standing here next to a champion. Yes, a champion 
not here. She's at home with the kids, but uh, she's here to spin. But yeah, we uh, we definitely breaking barriers for women, for um, Latinas. You know, uh, we made um, world history become the first to be uh, world champions at the same time. I made history being a five dimension world champion, being the first Puerto Rican to do so. Yeah. And, and I plan to continue, you know, uh, I will be making my MMA debut sometime in January, so I'm excited for that, you know. I was just nominated from Univision for Athlete of the Year, and um, that's a great accomplishment because this is not boxing, it's not fighting, it's an athlete. You know, I'm in there with four other wonderful, talented women in, in, in tennis, basketball, so I'm ex extremely blessed for that opportunity. So, um, yeah, it's great things. This is a great year for me, 2017, and I hope 2018 is even better one. Absolutely, and like I said, I am so proud to have this beautiful young Latina breaking barriers. She's collecting all the belts there is to collect, and she's going to continue doing so, and it's not going to stop. And I'm so glad that um, I've known her for quite a bit now, and I always follow her, and I hope you all do too. Follow her accomplishments, follow her, her dream that she's becoming reality. And uh, and we're here at Could Be You TV, always supporting you. Uh, so thank you so much. And I TV behind the scenes at the ECF. We're here with Jumani, who just sang the national anthem. Jumani, what an amazing voice you have. Thank you. Thank now, where, how did you get the opportunity to do that? Well, I mean, to do it here, I audition. Um, but I've been doing music. Actually, I sing in five different languages. I'm just saying, I appreciate that you wouldn't get the fight. But you're not getting out. We're going to leave here. I'm going to get that belt. Get back in here.
Kristen, so tell me how amazing was this experience to be here with Could Be Your TV on location for this amazing fight. So much fun. It was really cool to meet everybody, get a chance to talk to some of the fighters. What was your favorite part of the night? You know what? Just mingling and just be able to bring uh, Could Be Your TV on location yeah, uh, was uh, you know amazing. And to have a lot of people actually recognize the show yes. and to recognize us, and you know, it's a great feeling that to know that what we're doing is coming across to people and they're actually recognizing us. And you, you know, and it's just like it's actually a cool feeling. So uh, I'm grateful for this opportunity, you know, from uh, Christian and the whole ECF um, MMA the whole family. Yeah, yeah. The whole I mean, family they've so. been very welcoming. We appreciate you guys, ECF. Thank you for having us. We. We couldn't have asked for a better night to do this. Um, you know, being behind the scenes, getting to meet people, getting yeah. to talk to fans and, and fighters and coaches and really getting a better sense of like what they go through, you know? Yeah, and also just to show that Could Be You TV is a little versatile in what they do. So Absolutely. watch out for Could Be You TV Could be you somewhere the big near fighter. you. Next big singer, next big. We, we did get a chance to actually even talk to the singer tonight. So, um, you know, we really appreciate everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you, Linda, for Thank you know, you. having me here with you always. Of course. And, um, yeah, check and a out. special shout out to the lovely videographer, Noelle Karina. You gotta follow her. Without her, we wouldn't have this amazing footage. Thank you, my love. You're the best. Noelle and Reed, we appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Yes. Love you. Check. There we go. Wow, and here we Hello. are. We're back. How did everyone enjoy that? We're here back in the studio with the crew. The Welcome, crew. Christian. Thank you, thank you so much for having me. And uh, it's great to be back. Yes. It's awesome. I got uh, my main man, Danny Nunez, AKA DJ Danny Nunez in the house Hi. to the right of me. And uh, Mr. Marvelous himself, our very first two-time yes. MMA yes. and K-1 yes. champion. Holding two belts at the same time, the first person in our organization to ever do that. So, a lot of props and much respect over to Rob over here. Yes, so, absolutely. Congratulations. So, tell me, ladies, what did you think of the show? We had a great time. We had a wonderful time. Like I had said, you know, in the in the interviews and the videos, um, it was a great opportunity for um, Could Be UTV to Ooh. actually take the show on location because usually, as you see, we're like live from the studio. We well, did on location in my gym. So I did too. Yeah. Um, but this was more. This was um, out. This was really. Yeah, this is more like the the, the official is... media, you know. Yeah. Uh, the official. You were in the uh, war zone. <laughs> we were running around yeah, back right? and forth like chickens with no heads. We were like, all right, get over there. Get over there. Get in there. You guys We're like a, a one-woman team here, you know. You it was did a great bank. job. You did a great job for your first time covering an event like that. Yeah. Everyone was really happy. It was really like the happy. news coverage with Could Be You TV. I oh. caught him dancing a few times, too. Yeah, I heard oh, the music yeah. was excellent. Oh, it was what, awesome. What yeah. I couldn't help it. Actually, like, well, like, a couple times I was like, all right, like, your turn interview. I'm going to just sit here and be like... <laughs> you know how I do. Uh, all my fighters have to be the best fighters in New York on the East Coast. You got to know that my DJ got to be one of the best DJs in New yes, York. That's absolutely. How we do. Awesome. Yeah. Just like... I, I always say the best fight here, the best the best entertainment in New York is ECF and ECF martial arts. So uh, get ready because we're about to get crazy for 2018. I got a lot of awesome projects that we're going to talk to you about. Better than what you just had right now? No, I don't know better. I'm always trying to tell myself that those are the best fights we've had in 2017. I closed out the year with the best show uh, Mr. Marvelous over here himself. He fought on the line. How many events have you fought in a row? Four, he fought the last four events in a row. This guy was uh, on the shelf, some people would say. <laughs> he fought a few fights. I know him personally um, from hmm, when I was a fighter. Tell. From when I was a fighter coming up, he was always, everywhere that I went to spar, I would always see this guy. And the funny thing was, growing up, my uncle lived next door to him. Oh, and since I was a kid, would tell me, there's this kid, he reminds me of you, he lives next door. You guys both with the martial arts, he's always fighting, you guys should fight. <laughs> Years later, we run into each other in a gym, and this is the guy he's telling me about. Wow, look so at I'm that, like, hey, it was like meant to be. No Man, oh, the guy, this guy's six foot two, he's tremendous. So I'm like, Jesus Christ, of course my uncle's trying to get me to fight this monster. <laughs> and he's good, oh, no. so he's good. Uh, you know, it took a little convincing. It took about a year and a half of asking him to fight for me. He wasn't fighting. Stubborn. I said, dude, he would come to train. He would come to spar. He'd beat the hell out of people, but he wouldn't. he's not getting in the cage anymore. I said, you're wasting your talent. 
you're young. Every mm-hmm. time I would see him, I would bother him to fight. I would, come on, I got to fight. Finally, he accepted. After the first time I seen the kid fight, I said, dude, you can be a champion. I know for a fact. Wow, and how long ago that was? That was like maybe seven, eight months ago. Wow. I mean, I've been, tell- been, I've been telling out. him this. I've been telling him this since I sparred with him years ago. Okay. But since I saw him fight, because I put him up against a high-level guy, because he's right. got a good, good amount of fights, and he just handles these guys just no matter who I throw him in with. He just handles them no matter how big they are. He fought from 190. He fought up to 220. He fought guys jacked. He fought mm-hmm. guys tall. The last guy, sh- shout out to J Mark. J Mark, awesome fighter, man. That was a great fight. Shout out. J Mark's got a lot of fights. Uh, he's a great competitor. The guy's about six foot five. Put the put the belt up there. Put the belt up there. Yeah, put the belt yeah, up there. Like yeah. There we go. Put that yeah, belt. Yeah, yeah, there you go. We got the belt. It's right. heavy. It's heavy. Oh my god. He's actually got another one coming in. That's great for the table, Kristen. Enough for to take it home. It's heavy, right? Well, you know, it's I was thinking I'd make a two cheap. top out of it. It's not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna, wear it. Yeah. She's gonna wear it as a top. She yeah, said, no. maybe that won't work. But that yours man. is a beautiful belt. Um, hey, he's got another one. Go he's got, he's got another one coming. What happens? I have a question because yeah. I'm, you know, kind of MMA retarded with these things. <laughs> Do you get to keep this forever? No, you have to like. So wait. here's like, the how rules. Does it work? See, there's something called guys that are one and done. There are guys who think they win a belt and then they retire. So in my organization, you have to defend your title to keep it. If you don't defend it. I right. take it back after six like, months. So <laughs> once he defends his belt, which he has, it's his forever. So what do you mean you take it back? You go to their home and you take it back? Like... I take that. Yeah, I show up. <laughs> but if you, want to get, you don't want to give up his belt. Yeah. Like, That's my belt. I want it. Like, do you ever have, come you across that? Like, Never. Because like, remember, I'm a fighter. They want it back. <laughs> like, I don't want to fight no more, but I want to keep my belt because I earned that belt. This is a dope belt. Thank you. Thank you. It's got the city in the back. And I would, you know, I'd like one of these things if I ever want anything. Right? We're gonna, we should have the Could Be You TV uh, belt. belt. The man Could Be You belt. belt. <laughs> so, yeah, he was, uh, he go. finally took the fights. He was, he did great. Uh, he proved yeah. himself. He's a warrior. You know, he'll, he'll have a couple fights left uh, and defend it. And then we're gonna try to get him signed to, uh, Hopefully one of the most highest paying organizations out there. We're going to see what's in there for Rob. He's, he's still young. He's got a lot of opportunity. Oh, my goodness. That, awesome that sounds athlete. wonderful. So your style of uh, fighting is what? Mixed martial arts. Mixed martial arts. And that consists yeah. of what? He does everything. 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 You know, from wrestling, you know, jiu-jitsu, striking, a little bit of that. So all, all of that, um, all of those... Um, Get together. In the ring, like you can use all those uh, different everything. tactics and everything. Yep. You can use it all together in the ring. And so that that's what mixed martial arts is. That you can that, is that like a no hard no, no hard, or no, there's there's rules to it. There's very limited rules. Okay. In comparison to other martial arts and sports. Okay. Uh, you could do more than anything else. But there, obviously there are rules. There's no groin shots, no no poking in the eye, stuff like that. Okay. No so, biting. No, no biting. biting. But but no. let me ask you, they, they they actually allow this in other uh, type of sports? No. Mixed okay. martial arts. Like, you know, street fighting. Yeah. Like, there's no rules when it comes to like, I don't even think they should be any rules. Shit out of somebody on the corner of school. Point in the eye. Oh my gosh, point in my eye. Show me the title. Like the three Z. That's like crap my god. The, the title he just won it was for K1 kickboxing, which is no jujitsu and no groundwork. Oh my god. That's actually Sorry, all Bobby. uh that's all kickboxing and stand up. So that's what I'm saying. He has dual titles right now. He has titles in both, which is wow. the first time, first time ever happened. So hats off to him, man. Awesome. Well, the fans are just pouring in, showing the love. Gotta, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's Thank amazing. you so much, everyone. So yeah, we got a lot going on. Uh, Danny Nuyens will tell you more. We have a lot of great sponsors jumping on board. Uh, shout out to all of our sponsors: Total Nutrition, uh, Live Fierce. Uh, Fierce Water, great, great company. Linda Lynn. Uh, Linda Lynn in the house, of course. Could be UTV, Miss Christy, we're all here no. to support you. Dr. John you. from Rhino Chiropractics, uh, takes good care of my fighters. Frank Supa. Um, we have a lot, of, we have a great team. And uh, yeah. 2018 is going to be very, very exciting because we have a lot going on. We're kicking off a new show that I'm very excited about. Ooh, uh, a lot of strikers, a lot of Muay Thai fighters and stand-up fighters prefer not to fight in the cage. They like to okay. use the ropes. There's no ropes in the cage, obviously. There's no okay. give. And also, with certain kicks and techniques, you can get your toes broken 
it's hard to fight off the cage like it is so in, well, in the well, ring. So what is the purpose of being in a cage then? In like, a cage is mixed martial arts, but I also throw K1 fights in there for guys that are willing to do anything. But now I'm separating the show. I have a new show called The King of the Ring. New York Kickboxing ECF presents Are you King of the that? Ring. Um, he's, he's doing everything. Oh. Yeah, Rob fights. If you have a fighter for him to fight, Rob shows up and, and Rob Rob does his thing. He, oh, mm. That's it. He's ready. Be on the lookout. So King of the Once Ring, King of the Ring, uh, sanctioned by the WKA, Brian Crenshaw. We've teamed up. We have an absolutely phenomenal show. We have a new ring that we're going to test out. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be all Muay Thai K1 glory rules. And uh, get ready. It's going to be a phenomenal striking show. We're booked in Queens. We're booked in Manhattan. And uh, we're going to be running this show about every six weeks. So oh, it's wow. going to go King of the Ring. Five weeks later, March 3rd, we're going to have ECF 20. March Madness. ECF 20. Wow. March Madness. Our 20th mixed martial arts event. Yeah, that so it's amazing. And then we have a new show, which we haven't even I'm not even gonna lie to you, we haven't even come up with the name yet. We, we have even, no name for it. We haven't it. settled Don't on tell. the name. That's what we're here for. You it's gotta a, spill it's the beans. A, it's a super fight grappling event, all grappling, the highest level grapplings in the world, pro grappling invitation with only. cash prizes, invitation only. And this is for all of our grapplers out there. I grew up grappling. My father's a second degree black belt. We have Kevin Reed who'll be competing on this show. We might get oh, DJ wow. DJ okay. Danny might jump off the table, jump in the ring, do uh, his thing, jump back out. There we go. So That's excellent. We'll be running three shows in 2018. ECF, Extreme Cage Fighting, King of the Ring, and our soon to be named Super jiu fight grappling. jiu jitsu grappling event. Submission only oh, grappling. Event. On wow. So let me ask you. So bad. how to? Um, so you're telling the, uh, the people who are watching right now, if anybody would be interested, if there's a fighter out there that's watching and they're interested in one, how do they get in touch to one of your events to, to participate? Man, uh, you can go to the website extreme cage fight extreme cage fighting NYC .com. You can check out my Instagram. Chris ECF MMA or Extreme Cage Fighting. If anybody wants to check out and come train at a fantastic facility, which you were already at, yes. uh, we have ECF MMA Gym located at 147 Sunrise Highway in Limbrook. And we have open mat now every day, 12 to 2. All fighters from all over can come, get a roll, get some sparring in, whatever they need to work on. And we have open mat, open sparring. I'm going to pretend I'm one of the fighters. And open cage there. every Sunday, 2.30 p.m. I'm going to go incognito. Incognito. Yes. It's kind of hard for you to go incognito. Yeah, but this one. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's good not luck hard. with that. Just, you know, We're going to have to set you up with one of those hair. old school with the yes. thing and the nose and the yeah. hat. <laughs> Linda, oh, the if hat. she wanted to be a... Incognito, she can make it happen. I'll be incognito. Also, oh, DJ know. Dan, uh, what do you got going on? So, he's 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 running marketing right now for me also. Oh, so he does PR marketing. We were just on the Latin plug, which you were supposed to be at. Uh oh. I know. And she had the it date just, mixed up. I told I her know. last time I was on the show. I said I came from the Latin plug straight here. She goes, "Wait, what?" I, I know. I thought it, I got the dates mixed up, and yeah, my bad. It's okay. But. We have another Latin plug event coming up. Uh, Latin Plug is a Latin networking event for people like us. Mm -hmm. um, they are, of course, yeah, I'm everyone's Latin. welcome. <laughs> you're so already, we have, you're already Latina. <laughs> we have, um, they are totally on board with backing us up. On um, these three new shows that we got going on, we are definitely open for sponsorship. Um, anybody who wants to get in contact with us for sponsorship, um, please do. Um, we got new people coming aboard, like Monster. We got people like... Some vets. Don't let all the cat out the bag. Mm -hmm. We got some okay. exciting new sponsors on board. Yeah, Shout heard. out to Flow Combat. We are also now on the Flow Oof. Combat Network. Flow Combat covered the event. That's a big step uh, in the right direction. So... Um, a lot of big things for 2018. The ECF company just keeps expanding and growing. We're also going to have live performances back on the show. Yes. We used to do this back then, and now we're going to run with it again. Um, live performances, uh, a lot of up-and-coming artists. Shout out to Jamani. She did a great job performing yeah. uh, yes, at our did. last event. That girl could she sing her amazing. ass off. What a phenomenal, so phenomenal singer. That plus K1, King of the Ring. ECF, and we are also going to have the grappling. As you see, I just don't stop. I never stop working. Uh, 
I'm on a know, mission. You're always Tell me, I'm on a mission. I need a vacation. I'm on a mission. Hey, listen, you know, you <laughs> know what? on vacation, he's still working. Like, it's one of those, right? Yeah, it's it never. I never stop, honestly. But that's what you got to do to make it, you know, to right, make it to exactly. the top. Right, you to, did. The, the best never rest. So, let me ask you. Yes, ma'am. How hard and what, being that you do uh, all these different types of uh, mixed martial arts, is there one harder than the other to train Yeah, that's more? a good question. What is your favorite to train what is the hardest for you to do? <laughs> That's a great question. Ah, I mean, honestly, the hardest. Cutting weight. <laughs> yeah. It, that would be right. I, that a lot. Yeah. I saw the look in his yeah. face. You got, you got to be like me, bro. You got to see it. up. <laughs> no. You got to see it, man. You got to see it. No. He comes in always in the way and he's like, I'm starving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so is everybody but, here. But you yeah. know what? I, I can only imagine because I, I have mentioned to you this before. You know, um, my son, um, he was doing his boxing and he was very young at that time, which he was like um, 16. 17. Yeah. And, um, and he's a, a, a tall, slim, you know, to, be, to begin with. And there was a lot of training and a lot of, you know, took out a lot of him. Even though, um, shout out to him, Gianni. Hey, and, Gianni. And he, he happened to. Get you training, have, Gianni. He did win his fight, you yeah. know, his one. But after that, I think it kind of like put Your mom damper. showed me the video like five times already. Man. I know. <laughs> <laughs> because he, She's wasn't so he proud. absolutely great? He yes, was he was. Awesome. I, I did not think that was his first fight. He looked like he fought a few times he before did, that. And, so he but did, but I think the same thing. Um, <laughs> so we all started. He, in the, he, in the basketball court. It took out a lot of him, like you would say. You know the the cutting, you know, for the weight and and the whole it's training, great, you know, great, and great. it was I think it was how heavy were you, Rob? When we when I first took you off the shelf, you hadn't competed for a while. What what would you be honest? How 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 high up there were you? Can I lie a little bit? No no, be real. <laughs> no, be real. This is could be UTV. Everything um, on the whole. The third two thirty two thirty. I'm probably like about almost two forty, close to two forty. He was up to two forty, yeah. and then he got down to what weight for you? Five, I guess. Maybe a little less. A little less. A little less. So we're talking about cutting thirty-five pounds in maybe four or five weeks. Yeah. Wow. It's tough. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah. It's it's one of those things where. Oh, dedication, is, baby. Yeah. I'll so be on the floor like I've been in the that. desert for like weeks, and, and it's no, only no, been like not even hours, ha not even half a day, bad, and I'm thinking bad. it's been weeks that I haven't had. Bad. I don't know. Funny, one of the fights he's cutting weight, and the competitor, shout out to to Tony Harris, called me up. He's like, Christian, I don't think I'm gonna make weight, man. I'm not going to make it down there. You're going to have to maybe cancel this fight. I said, well, what weight can you make? He says, dude, I'll get down to like 220. So usually when you got a big jack dude yeah. who's muscular and powerful. He's like a walking steroid. Yeah, he's, he's tremendous. <laughs> and, and you tell the fighter, look, the guy can't make weight. He can't get to 205, can do 220. The fighter's usually like, all right, don't get, I'm not fighting him. Get me a new fighter. Right. I call Rob. I'm like, yo, Rob. This guy's not going to make weight. He wants to fight at 220. He's like, perfect, good, I'm going to eat. All right, no problem. I'm like, yo, thank you, Rob. What? <laughs> He's like, oh, good. So that's the and how kind of... did it turn out with that? That was a good one. He won. He oh, won. He, he has oh. not lost on my show yet. Wow, yeah. congratulations on that. Yeah, and, and you know, he does Continue more success oh, hope, than that. I hope it stays that way. So do you, do you only fight now? Or, I mean, are you doing any coaching or training um, with other people, helping anybody honestly, else? Honestly, I kind of put all of that stuff on hold for now because I realized that, you know, like he said, I did I did get a little lazy and I did kind of slack off a little bit. So I'm thinking I'm making up for a lot of that, that time that I wasted. He's going to make up for it. I'm going to make sure he makes up for myself. myself. Okay. He's got a, he's got, he's, some years left in you? Yes. Oh, so oh yes, he does. I feel, <laughs> I feel better than ever. You go. That's and right. And he looks yeah, better than good. ever. Every yeah. fight, he looks better yeah, and so better. And now that he's got these belts and he understands and he believes in himself the way that I did, he sees that there's a real future for this and I'm gonna keep pushing him. He, I'm gonna make him, I'm gonna try to get him into Bellator or UFC at 185 pounds. And I think at 185 pounds, he could be a real contender, possibly a real champion. So look out everybody, Bellator, CFFC, UFC. Get ready. All right. This so guy's we'll coming. You know how to contact me. You already got my number. I already speak to you guys. So you know what to do. Christian, just take over the show. We'll just lean back here, okay? <laughs> so let me, so you will consider you're officially um, his coach or his sponsor, his manager, his what? I'm managing him right now. Okay. And uh, I'm his promoter. His promoter. Um, okay. I help him out with everything that I can help out with from, from, from hopefully getting him some sponsors now 
to uh, matching him up, to, to getting him the right training and sparring. He comes in on Sundays when we have our open training and sparring for all fighters, and he gets work with at least 25 different people that we have there, from pro boxers to pro kickboxers to pro MMA fighters. So I look out for everybody in my organization, whether they're my student or not. I try to get everybody who fights for the ECF show to the highest level that I can get them. Whatever their potential is, whether they're a part of my gym or not, I try to get them to their potential because it only it only benefits everybody. All right, and since you just mentioned your gym, can you tell our, our peeps where exactly your gym is located? 147 Sunrise Highway in Limbrook, and get ready, ECF Boxing Gym 2018 mm -hmm. is about to happen. I mean, that's what I'm I got an expansion in. in the works. We're already in construction. I'm putting up a, a pro kickboxing and boxing ring, and I'm putting a whole 2,500 square feet. Aside, hard floors, heavy bags, speed bags, you know, uh, reflex bags, uppercut bags, you name it, dedicated strictly to boxing. Now that I have the Serrano sisters and Coach Jordan, yes. phenomenal. Shout out, Shout to, out to the Boricuas. Was, that's right. The champs. It was absolutely awesome to have seen them, especially to have the opportunity to um, interview Amanda. I'll she tell you what's not awesome. Feeling Amanda punch you in the face. That no. is no fun. That would be no fun, no. But, no uh, punching in the face is for she me. Get, she gets me quite a bit. But uh, Amanda today was with Jillian DeCourcy. Shout out to Jillian DeCourcy. She is a pro Invicta fighter, undefeated. Invicta Ooh. is an all-female organization. Okay. It is the only all-female organization, a pro organization, I believe out of Utah? Yes. Out of Utah. Okay. Uh, and Jillian DeCourcy was in ECF gym today. She did four five-minute rounds with Amanda Serrano. Wow. And nice. that was yeah. absolutely phenomenal to watch. Jillian is one of the most outstanding grapplers, female grapplers mm -hmm. I have ever witnessed. Mm -hmm. And uh, get ready. She's a 105 fighter, and this girl will be a force to be reckoned with and a champion, as well as obviously the hard hitting murderer, Amanda Serrano. Yeah, yeah. we're definitely gonna have she to. She seems very nice, by the way. Wow, well, I know. <laughs> Tell me about it. She, people ask me if she's uh, um, uh, Jennifer Lopez's stunt double. Yeah, she's absolutely she beautiful. Be. And, you, be. and you know what's so sweet is that she's such a sweetheart. You know, you would never think, you know, you Until think of fighters. Until she puts those gloves on. Right, exactly. She so she has that persona on, man. where she wow. is who she is, you know. Once she hears that bell ring, it's sudden, a wrap. But yeah. a lot of the fighters, I mean, I have to say, like, interviewing a lot of the fighters and the people that were there, everybody was really nice and Thank super you. humble. And even the fighters, you know, people talk a lot of shit. I know as far as like yeah. fights, you know, boxing. It could get it could get heated. But afterwards, it you know, it's emotional. nice to see the camaraderie when they congratulate each other or they give each other a hug. You know what it Not is? a hug, but you know, like it, it's, what do you it, call that? It's, I guess. it's the respect and the loyalty within the arts. Right. Um, I feel like there there's always somebody out there who trains harder than you, who is gonna be smarter than you and who's gonna have more knowledge than you in the art. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot of respect within everybody in boxing and jujitsu and judo and MMA. And it's important. And it's yeah. very important to always also, be respectful. Also, I, I make sure that the fighters know that they have to carry themselves a certain way on my show. There's a I'm certain sure. level of, of professionalism. As you see, how well run and professional my show is run, of correct? Of course, and, and I would have to agree that I, I, I believe that sportsmanship is very um, important, you know, within, um, you know, athletes, Period. you know. Period, it's good it's, it's for children, for everybody, it's yeah, important to, to be a role model, for people to see the right way to act. You can act one way as what you're trying to do, in it, but once it's over, you it's know, over. be humble, and you know, all this cockiness and stuff like that, sometimes it's just not a good Leave look, it in the you ring. know. Leave it so, in the ring. Yeah. yeah. Like, Leave it in the ring. And really quick before we forget, we gotta shout out Larry. Larry Legend! Larry's the man. Larry. Larry, yeah. yes, Larry the legend himself. Love Larry. He's been a listen, actually I met Larry because Larry used to be the announcer on my fights. And he gave me my nickname, the Destroyer. Did it after, after my third fight, awesome guy. he just said he said, I've I've never seen anyone even get to fight with you. All you do is destroy everyone. And he gave me my nickname. Well, listen, well, so shout, shout out, out to, to him Larry. because yeah, he did. He, he gave awesome. us a beautiful, spe you know, speech. You he's know, the man. He's just a great yeah. all-around guy. He's so a definitely. character. He's charismatic. He's good he looking. He's well excited about his outfit. Well spoken. You know, his like, outfit. Go, I gotta compete with him. I gotta, that's why you think I always gotta change I'm it up. Sorry, but he kinda, he kinda I know, Larry. You got me again. You got me again. But Christian, I have a question for you. Being that you just brought that up, so are you done with fighting? Yeah, unfortunately, my career personally is done. I wouldn't have the time to focus on my training and focus on 
oh, managing shit. my fighters. I, got, I have 150 students. I have 20 fighters out of my stable alone. And I have about 1,000 ECF fighters that fight in my league. So I'm not, I'm not selfish. I, Do you miss it? I miss it more than anything in this world. I still spar with these guys and train with them. But he is—he is our coach, yeah. and we—we we definitely feel very honored that he's Thank taking you. a step back and giving us an opportunity to become what we can potentially be. You know what? After my car accident and with 12 herniations in my neck and my back, being paralyzed oh. in my left arm for nine months. You know, it's too much of a risk. I couldn't train at the level that I would need to train right. to fight the level of competition that right. I want to fight. I don't want to take easy fights, and I don't want to fight guys. And I, if I get back in there, I'd want to fight the hot, the best guys. Right. And to do that, my body wouldn't be able to withstand the training needed. Right. And uh, to be honest with you, there's all these young guys that have everything going for them and don't have 12 things broken in their neck. I'd rather pass my knowledge and see and help help them succeed. Of because course. when I was a fighter, I had a gym only 3,000 feet, and the whole gym was based around me being a fighter. I didn't care as much as about my students excelling. I cared about my next fight. And if you got if you wanted to train with me during my fight camp and do what I was doing, then good for you. Cool. But once I took a step back, now we have a 10,000 square foot facility and I have all these amazing athletes. And if I didn't, I took something that was negative and I was completely depressed about and I turned it into something positive. And that's what I stay focused on doing. Awesome. That is oh, absolutely do. great. You're doing, you Thank know. You. It's just Living like, your dreams. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. once again, we always. And creating dreams for new guys and new exactly. opportunities for everyone. So. That's, but this is this is what we always bring up, too, that this is the concept that we came up with. It could be UTV. It's just exactly that. What we're trying to do our own thing, because we are um, both recording artists and we're trying, you know, we do music. On the side, and you know, you're a phenomenal singer. We should get you singing on the show. Thank you. <laughs> she is going to be performing yeah. at your no. next live performance. Oh, show. Okay. she's going to be singing your anthem. But um, this is what Could Be You TV is all about. Is about you know exposing and helping you know uh, young talent, entrepreneurs, or you know athletes, what, whatever it is. It's just to help, and because the same way that we're trying to help ourselves, you know, we absolutely. just like to get that opportunity. But well, we all help and, each other. You know, so ab well. yeah, absolutely, and. Um, and definitely, I can't wait. Look look at the time. It's almost about that time. No, already? already? It goes so quick <laughs> when we're here. Rob, how do people get in touch with you on social media? All right, so... Because you got to create this fan base, Rob. I, I mean, yeah, I got to make it. Oh, ladies. Gotta start, He's a two-time champion. Ladies, we have a champion. Hello. <laughs> we have, champion. This is a champ right here. He's going to beat you with the bell. We have, oh, what? <laughs> that's right. He's a cutie pie, lady. Whip -a, whip -a. Let's go with, whip -a, the, whip -a. Let's go with the fan club here. That. Let's go, ladies. This is like 50 so, shades of blue Rob all will be, over your body. Oh, but this is heavy, too, you know? Rob will be fighting January 27th on the King of the Ring show. Rob, how could your fans get in touch with well, you? Well, I definitely am a little bit uh, behind on that. Behind social, on media. social media. Yes, oh. not, Let's get to it. Let's go. I've been, I know, that's I've why been I put so him focused on the, on the gym. That's I've why I put him so on the spot. On training. Rob, Rob needs to come and see DJ Danny. Contact <laughs> <laughs> DJ Danny. He'll cipher through everybody. It's so much more than fighting now. You could be the best fighter. And when I'm dealing with these high-level promoters from all over the world, they want to know about their fan base. They want to know how many followers they have on Instagram. You'd be surprised the meetings that I'm in with multi-millionaires and billionaires. Mitchell Modell, Brett Yarmark from, uh, from Barclays. I'm sitting in these big meetings, and they bring up Instagram and social media within the first five minutes. And that, I couldn't believe it. You know what it is? I think um, social media is a big part of promoting and promoting yourself. And, you know, but we always have to touch this topic also how um, sometimes it's not all about, you know, how many followers you have. The quality. But it's the, you know, no, not the, the quality. quality. Who follows, follows you? Who follows right, you? Exactly. Who follows you? I, exactly. And that's, a, that's a, the key to me because I said if you was to, you know, I don't have, you know, they're like, oh, you know. Well, you're, you're new to social artist. media also, though. Um, well, um, and I'm, you have a good amount. I remember I when have, you first got on to now. You're, you're, you're going up by the thousands. So. Right, I'm, I'm getting there, but yet not compare, let's just say, to others that are so, in the same industry. But then I look at it, I'm like, you know what? It's okay because you I don't care for the amount of people that follow me, but it's who. And if believe it or not, I have pretty important people following me that I get so excited. And I'm like, oh my God, you don't believe who just followed me. Oh my God, I just can't she believe it. She would have gained a so. bunch of followers. She would have went to the you, know, you carry a lot of class, the way you carry Thank yourself you. on social media. You know, a lot 
lot of people tend to do anything they can to get people to follow them. Right. And uh, like myself, you know, there's certain things because I have a lot of families and I train a lot of younger people. There's certain things that I don't feel comfortable putting on my social media. Right, of you know? course, yeah. yeah. Like, I got a nice booty, but I'm not going to post all over Instagram. Right, so <laughs> do I. I'm not followers. posting. I know, social media. But, you know, once in a while, it's nice <laughs> to show a little profile. Well, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to like, remind you know, the people like that it's full, there. I mean, like, full-fledged, like, my butt is eating oh. my underwear. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Danny happen. has some pictures like that. But, but you know what? I mean. But it's okay. <laughs> Sometimes it's you can okay if it's done tastefully, you know, you know. People. Yeah. I, I think people. I'm just going to walk out because I... I'm okay. Danny, <laughs> DJ Dan, how do they follow you? How can, how can the fans get in touch with you? Um, because you're not only... Uh, Dan also does a lot of red carpet events. Yes. So that's so. something else. He's involved with Disney. He's involved in television and movies. There we go. So everyone, that's if he's sitting on this panel with me, he's got to be something, you know. Absolutely, you know. How I you know? Am. Now Shout we feel to... like thought, and just sitting here with you guys right, and having right, you right, here, right. Around, you know. So, so Dan, well, how do they reach out to you? So my Instagram is DJ Danny Nunez. Pretty simple, all one word. Um... Hey, got anything coming up? Any, we have a bunch of stuff coming up. Actually, we have the red carpet for Jumanji in New York. It's going to be December 18th. I'll be there. Um, everybody's going to be there. Yeah, absolutely. We're all going to be so. there. Uh, Kevin Hart's going to be there live. Uh, awesome. We're also going to have The Rock. What? Wait, wait, what? Please, don't the get us Rock excited here, okay? Kevin Hart will be there. All right. We're I'll getting excited here. Out. I don't want to... We only, we're almost of, done here, and I think I'm going to have a heart attack. So before I have a heart attack now... I meet um, a lot of celebrities, but if you're bringing me to meet The Rock, I might have to take you to dinner. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. us too. But right. um, So me and Kristen wanted to uh, give you appreciation for letting us have... Oh. Um, so we're presenting you with Snapback. the official... Could be UTV Snapback. Nice. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I go the shirt. Matches my outfit. There you go. <laughs> we did not plan this. No. That is that yes. worked out awesome. But thank you wanna... so much. Yeah, no, thank, thank you. you. We had such an amazing time. Oh, uh, awesome. Meeting you guys was awesome. It was and our all pleasure, your fighters, definitely. All your people they loved there. you. They loved we you. Really Everyone loved you. you. They they yeah. asked and made sure if you were coming back. I said absolutely. Every, oh, well, everybody can come to the DJ booth and they're like, Do you know what they do? Yeah. They interview you. Yeah. They're gonna interview you. Oh my god. Well listen guys, thank you so much. Thank you, Christian. For everything, uh, we're gonna continue doing great pleasure. things together. They're ready. Thank you. January twenty seventh, King of the Ring, March third, ECF twenty, coming at you. See you next time. Could see you TV Tuesday, ten p.m. Bye bye. Whoosh.